It's important to get screened for prostate cancer because early detection of prostate cancer opens up the majority of the options for treatment if treatment is needed. Uh, there are very large long-term data that demonstrate a survival benefit to screening and detecting prostate cancer, and it is very treatable if detected at early stages. And the earlier you find it, the more opportunity you have for cure. Early prostate cancer really does not cause symptoms. So just because you feel normal and don't have symptoms doesn't mean that there, there isn't something going on. Uh, so I do encourage men to have the conversation with either their healthcare professional or with a urologist if they don't, their healthcare professional doesn't feel comfortable having the conversation um, and seek screening if it's aligned with your goals, um, because there definitely is a overall survival benefit to doing so. This actually is different depending on the country that you live in. Uh, in the you know, UK and Europe, uh, mostly uh, MRI scans are being used for screening. So um, that's um, a different cost and a different healthcare system. In the United States, uh, we do recommend a PSA blood test as the initial first line screening test. The rectal exam or prostate exam is optional by our American Urologic Association guidelines. It's often performed, um, but uh, the blood test is definitely the, uh, the best first line to at least start your screening process. Along those same lines too, it's important to, to acknowledge that the way that we test for prostate cancer and, and approach the screening of prostate cancer has also been in the news and has also come a long way. Um, the PSA tests and the controversy surrounding PSA testing uh, really has dominated uh, the discussions within our community and as well as the pub, you know, with the public, uh, because for a long time, PSA testing was done indiscriminately for everybody. And as soon as there was any detection of prostate cancer, you had to get your prostate removed. And we acknowledge as a community that 30 years ago, we probably did overtreat with prostate cancer. And we probably did cause those challenging side effects in more people than, than maybe we would have wanted to or should have. But we've come a long way since then. We've learned about what the limitations and the benefits of prostate cancer screening are. And we now do a more risk stratified approach uh, and we emphasize shared decision making so that patients are having those crucial conversations with their urologists, with their clinician teams, and deciding if and when prostate cancer sc uh, screening is right for them. Um, so even at the screening and detection stage, we've learned from, from our science, we've come a long way, and we're able now more than ever to put the patient at the heart of these discussions, the patient at the center of treatment decision making, which is exactly where the patient ought to be.